Hey Glass, it's Friday. Can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop! I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Thanksgiving break starts tomorrow, and again, Miss Betsy has a crew helping her with the lunch menu today. Let's head over to the cafeteria to find out what's on the menu today. Hi Rosa, why don't you tell the kiddos what we're having for lunch today? We're having roasted chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. Hope to see y'all. Have a great Thanksgiving. Bye! Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, the semester is almost over and Miss Betsy still needs your purple free reduced lunch forms. If you need to add money to your account, you can do it in person or online from the school's website. If you forgot again to bring in your blue federal impact aid form to the attendance office, today would be a great day to take care of that item, especially since they were due last month. Replacement forms are being delivered to those who have not turned one in yet. Please get them signed and back to the attendance office ASAP. Glad yearbook prices are going up on December 11th to $65. You can still order your book while the price is still only $55. Be sure to reserve your school memories now. Juniors and seniors, college visits are winding down for the semester with the reps from Johnson and Wales on December 5th. Looking to 2018, the reps from Lamar Community College will be here on February 18th. Seniors, be sure to get your cap and gown and class ring orders to Herf Jones no later than December 21st. As always, swing by the counseling center to pick up your hall passes for college visits. When we come back, we'll have the results of the poll we took on Wednesday. We'll also have upcoming audition information, but first, we're throwing it to Moose Santos for our Gladiator Sports Update. It's finally Friday, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Our winter sports teams kick off their seasons after Thanksgiving break, so stay tuned for upcoming game schedules and scores. Speaking of Thanksgiving, here's Doc with our health tip of the week. Hey guys, it's Doc and I'm back with your health tip of the week. So, next week is Thanksgiving. Yummy! I really, really like Thanksgiving. But I want to share a few interesting facts with you guys. So Thanksgiving dinners can add up a lot of calories. Most of the time we need about 2,000 calories a day just to help our bodies process and for us not to gain any weight. Over Thanksgiving, they say in one meal, so at Thanksgiving dinner, we could have up to 4,500 calories. And that is a lot. So that's twice the normal limit. So if you know that you're going to eat a lot on Thanksgiving, and I really hope you do, then you should plan ahead. Maybe have a light breakfast, maybe have a salad, but definitely get out and get some exercise, go for a walk, enjoy your time off from school, rest, relax, enjoy your food, but don't enjoy it too much. Thanks, Doc. That's some great advice for keeping healthy over the break. Gentlemen interested in playing baseball this spring, if you were unable to make the meeting on Wednesday night, please see Mrs. Miles, our athletic director, to get the contact information for the coaches. Good luck to our forensics team this weekend as they travel to Discovery Canyon. Good luck to all our sports teams as they continue to sharpen their skills for the season. We're looking forward to some great games and matches. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Friday and a nice Thanksgiving break. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Moose. Glads, the 180 Club is collecting canned goods and non-perishable foods to be included in their Christmas baskets this year. Items such as boxed potatoes, canned veggies, cereal, and boxed desserts are welcomed. Last year, the 180 Club distributed baskets to 30 WHS families and would like to exceed that number this year. Bring your donations to any teacher in the math department. Donations will be collected until December 8th. If you can help, please do it. Glads, audition times are set for the Spring Musical for November 27th and 28th. See Ms. Caps or Ms. Rifle to get audition materials and to set up an audition time. All right, the results are in. 62% of respondents said it was okay for holiday music to be played before Thanksgiving, while 38% said it should happen after. We are thankful for everyone who was able to participate. Stay tuned next month for another poll question. Finally, Student Cabinet will be kicking off some, dri some Drive Smart events when we return. But since we have a long break coming up, we wanted to leave you with some food for thought and remind everyone to be safe.
That's all for our news today. Have a great Thanksgiving break. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Be safe, lads.